everyone, so today I want to talk about a very important topic, which is, of course, the sun, as you can tell by the title. Uh, with having lupus, you're not supposed to go on the sun, you're supposed to avoid it because it's very bad for you, uh, it can make your lupus progress, it can make it worse. Um, basically, when you get too much sun exposure, you you get become inflamed and like my arthritis will kick in and you get the butterfly rash and rashes and it's just all bad. Um, I'm doing this video because some people have contacted me not knowing that the sun has an effect on them and that's it's very important for you to know this and know your stuff about the sun and lupus. Um, so I'm going to go over a few things like sunblock. Um, I don't recommend a certain brand because I do not know which is the best. If any of you have a great sunblock you'd like to tell in the comments for other people, go ahead. Uh, this one I'm just showing you that you should at least have uh, 30 plus, which usually I use like 50, but at least have 30 plus. And then you want to make sure that it says UVB, UVA and broad spectrum protection that is very important because you don't want to just have one of those you have to have both uh, to get full protection so that's one thing and when you make sure you apply it 30 minutes before you go out in the sun so it's already on you and make sure that uh, if you go in the water or the ocean or anything like that that you apply it after you're done getting wet um, because just because it says waterproof doesn't mean it's going to stay on you completely. It's going to wear off eventually. And uh, sun protective clothing is another thing, especially if you're going to the beach, because if there are clouds, that doesn't mean anything. Um, you can still have the sun coming through, and it's very dangerous. So I actually, two years ago, bought some sun protective clothing. I just have this kind of like shirt I wear over like a tank top and I got it from solareclipse.com so if you guys would like to check that out go ahead uh, yeah I use this whenever I go to the beach or anything because I live in Nevada so it's very the sun is very bright here and it's like 110 today uh, so yeah and I have a hat also which I don't have with me but all of that is very important um, I'd also like to tell you guys about, I love this, Lubiderm, because it has SPF 15, which is great because I just put this on in the morning before I go anywhere, like, so if I'm driving in the car, it protects me at least a little bit for the time I'm in the car, or if I'm just gonna, like, go to the store and I have to walk through the parking lot, anything like that, this is great because I know I'm protected at least for that little bit of time. Um, and then another subject I want to bring up is self-tanning. Um, I do use self-tanner every once in a while. Um, I just started using this again. And as you can tell, I'm really white. And, and being in high school and everything, you know, it's like people bring that up. Like, oh, you're really white. Look how tan she is. I don't take that to heart, but I like to be a little bit tan, just a little nice, like, summer glow that's healthy. So I use Clinique. Um, this self-tanner is great. It works awesome, and so far, like, I feel like it's not affecting me in a bad way, and I've been using it, and I love it. It helps me to feel more confidence and everything, and like I used to because I used to tan very well and yeah so the sun is a very touchy topic and I wish we could all go in it but we can't so I decided to make this video and hope everyone is having a great day <laughs> and now I don't know what to say so let tell your stories about the sun your experience anything in the comments go ahead like usual, and then I'm going to keep saying um and and, so I'm going to just end it now. <laughs> Alright, hope everyone's having a good day. Bye.